The Adventures of Napkin Man. <laughs> Super Scott. Oh no! I'm going to fall! Someone help me! Don't worry, Mr. Chompers. Super Scott is here. Super Scott to the rescue! I crown thee Princess Hendra. Why, thank you, Mr. Anthony. <laughs> Hey, Super Scott, you got room for one more under here? I'm not Super Scott anymore. I'm the Scott. Well, why? Is something wrong with your cape? It's not a cape. It's a blanket. And blankies are for babies. Is that right? What makes you say that? Because that's what some other kids said. Hmm. And that's what's got you hiding under this table? Yeah. I want to get small so that no one sees me. That's pretty small. I feel embarrassed. Mm, embarrassed, huh? And only babies have blankies. Well, you know, when I'm feeling embarrassed and tiny and small, I do the growly bear stretch to feel big and tall. Check it out. When you're feeling tiny and small, you stand up and make yourself big and tall. And then you growl like a bear. And then you stretch your hands way up in the air. You try it. OK. Oh, that's very good. You feel better? A little, but I'm still not going to have my blankie anymore. Hmm. Well then, how about a napkin man story? Sure. All right, bring your blankie, just in case. This one is about the time napkin man helped a little boy named Ricky who had a super problem, just like you. Call them together, shall we? Yep. Napkin Man! Hiya, Scott. Hey, Mr. Anthony. Napkin Man? Uh, uh, Mr. Anthony. I think you forgot something. His key. Mm. Oh, sorry, Napkin Man. Thanks. Now I'm super... Capable! Get it? Capable? <laughs> I'm Napkin Man, I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man! Napkin Man, I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear, I'm your hero, I'm your Napkin Man. Huh? Napkin Man? Hi, Super Ricky. Nice to bump into you. Sorry, I was too busy flying to see where I was going. <laughs> Superhero problems. I was flying, too. Whoosh! Nice. Hey, want to see someone who can really fly? Sure. Mr. Bumbles, watch this. Wow, he really can fly. Want to try? Yeah. Whoosh! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You aren't kidding. Mr. Bumbles is a great flyer. Ricky has a teddy bear. Ricky is a baby. Hmm. Uh, Super Ricky, there you are. Uh, was that a friend of yours? That's Kevin. 
He always teases me about Mr. Bumbles and makes me feel bad. I just want to get small and hide. It sounds like you're feeling embarrassed. I know that feeling. You do? Sure, everyone feels embarrassed sometimes. Well, it doesn't feel good. You're right about that, but I know how you can feel better. How? Do the growly bear stretch. It'll help you feel bigger and stronger. When you're feeling super small, stand up high and get real tall. First, you growl like a bear. <laughs> Bears don't moo. That's a cow. Oh, right. Let me try again. When you're feeling super small, stand up high and get real tall. First, you growl like a bear. Then stretch up high into the air. First, you growl. And then you stretch. Oh, you look taller already. You feel better? A little. Hey, want to see my super fort? Sure. Follow me. Wow, nifty super fort. Thanks. It's our secret headquarters. Mr. Bumbles and I come here to practice our superpowers. Ooh, what kind of superpowers? Like when I do this sound, I'm super fast. <laughs> Watch me use my superpowers to go invisible. Napkin Man, where'd you go? You disappeared. Ha, I'm right here. <laughs> Good one. Watch this. When I stop my feet, the whole ground shakes. Stomp, stomp, stomp! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's raining. Uh-oh, I don't have a superpower for that. Quick, into the super fort. Perfect, nice and dry. <gasps> oh, thunder. I don't like thunder. Me neither. It's a bit scary. Time to hug Ralph. Who's Ralph? Super Ricky, meet Super Ralph. You have a super friend too? Of course. Everyone needs a super friend. And you're not embarrassed to have him? No way. If you're feeling blue, here's what you can do. Give your super friend a hug. If your knees are feeling weak and the world looks pretty bleak, give your super friend a hug. If you're sad or scared or lonely, or just having a bad, bad day, super hugs are great, that's what I'm trying to say. They even freshen your breath and stop tooth decay. Really? Uh, no. But they're still great. I get it if I'm feeling not quite right. Just hold my pal real tight and give my super friend a hug. That's it! And if I'm feeling a bit scared... Now you are prepared to give, give my, my super, super friend. friend. Give my super friend. I said gotta I gotta give, give my super friend, friend a hug. Now that's a superpower. Look, it's Kevin. He has a flat tire. He's getting soaked. Maybe we should invite him into the super fort. Invite him into the super fort? I'm not sure. It would be the super thing to do. Okay. Kevin, you want to come in my fort? It's dry in here. Okay. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Napkin Man. Thanks for letting me in here with you guys. I don't like thunderstorms. We don't like thunder either. Oh! <gasps> Give my super friend a hug. Maybe Kevin should hug a super friend too, like Blanky. You know what, Scott? That's a great idea. Hey, Napkin Man. Here's a blankie for Kevin. Thanks! It's too bad we don't have an ex or super friend for Kevin. Actually... Kevin, would you like to hold on to this blankie? I don't know. It'll be great for squeezing when it thunders. Okay. Just, Just give, give my super, super friend, friend a hug. Hey, look, the rain is stopping. 
I'm sorry for teasing you about your teddy bear. Now I know why it's good to have something to hug. That's okay. Hey, want to play superheroes with us? Sure. Whoosh. Whoosh. Hey, Napkin Man, this way. Oh. <laughs> 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 and after that, Ricky was never embarrassed to have Teddy again. So, what do you think? Is Blanky back to being super? Yep. Good, because it really does make a great super cape. You know, I have a special friend, too. You do? It's a draft named Jenny. Oh. She sleeps with me. Really? Your bed must be huge. Daddy's a toy giraffe. I have a pillow with a dinosaur on it. He's a triceratops named Bruce. He looks scary, but he's not. Do you have a special friend, Mr. Anthony? Me? I sure do. Everyone meet Mr. Stinky. Hello, Mr. Stinky. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Stinky. <laughs> oh. Oh, Mr. Stinky! <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of Napkin Man. The Adventures of Napkin Man. <laughs> step by step. I'm the king of my castle. Stay up. Come on, tower, stay up. Dumb castle. Hey, Benny. Something wrong? Look. Well, if you're trying to make a sand pancake, that's a pretty awesome sand pancake. I wasn't trying to make a sand pancake. Oh, silly me. I was trying to make a sand castle, but it keeps falling down. Hmm, and that must be very <sighs> frustrating. Is it ever? Well, you know, when I'm frustrated and I want to, <sighs> I do the balloon. A balloon? Mm-hmm. Check it out. First, you fill up your lungs with air, like you're a balloon. <sighs> really full. And then you... <laughs> and all the hers too. <laughs> all right, you try it. <laughs> Very good. You feel better? Yep. Most of the herbs are gone, but I'm still frustrated. I can't make my sand castle. Well, then, how about a napkin man story? Sure. All right. This one is about a boy named Selim. He's a knight, and he has a pet dragon. Pet dragon? No way. Yes, way. There. Let's call them together, shall we? Yep. Napkin Man! Hi, Benny. Hi, Mr. Anthony. Hi, Hi Napkin, Napkin Man. Man. Uh, Mr. Anthony, if I'm going to visit a pet dragon, I think I'm going to need some dragon snacks. One bag of chocolate-covered dragon treats coming right up. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. It looks good enough to eat. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> if you're a dragon. <laughs> well, I've got the snacks. Now I'm ready. I'm Napkin Man. I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man. I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. 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 I'm Napkin Man.
Captain Man. Have no fear, I'm your hero. I'm your Napkin Man. Ah, the olden days. Now, where is Sir Knight Selene? Aha, Dragon Smoke. That means I'm close. Behold, Sir Selene. Hi, Napkin Man. You remember my pet dragon, Smokey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Who can forget such a smoky dragon as Smokey? Chocolate covered Smokey snack? <laughs> Glad you like them. <laughs> Smokey says thank you. Is that the only pack you brought? Uh, sorry. So, what's it like being a knight? Sir Salim? I love being a knight. I get to wear these neat gloves and boots. I check this out. <laughs> Needs a little oil, I guess. Still very impressive. Let me show you around Salim Sylvania. Ooh, a tour. Huh? Sir Salim, here's the village square where you can buy all kinds of stuff and watch the jester juggle apples. <laughs> Snack time, Smokey? <laughs> <laughs> this is where they make all sorts of important knight stuff, like helmets and armor and shields. They're all in tune. <laughs> and here's my favorite place of all. The hill? This is where I'm gonna build my castle. A castle? With a moat full of water and everything? A moat and stone walls, and a tower with an awesome flag on top. Mm hmm? Oh, and a giant litter box for Smokey. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Would you like to help us build my castle? Oh, yes! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I've got all the stones and wood we need to make a moat, walls, and a tower. Let's start building! We need a moat. And walls. We need lots of walls. But we didn't finish the moat. We can finish that later. Let's make the walls. Okay. Oh, and the tower, that's the best part. But the walls, uh... We'll finish them later. If you say so. We're done. Behold my new castle. Um, interesting. Uh-oh. Push! Ha! Ah, there. Oh, no, not again. Push the other side. Uh. <sighs> ah, push everything! My tower! This feels so... It's frustrating. Yes, frustrating. Hey, Sir Celine, when I feel frustrated, I always do the balloon. The balloon? Yeah, I take a big breath in. So you can go louder? <laughs> no, so I can become a balloon. Check it out. And then... <laughs> And all the rrrrs get blown out. Now you guys try it. And let all the rrrrs out. <laughs> Smokey, your turn. In and out. <laughs> Whoops, I guess Smokey's was a hot air balloon. <laughs> it feels better, right? Yeah, I'm not so frustrated now. Good. So back to our castle. Oh, what a mess. What did we do wrong? 
Hmm. I know. They tried to build everything all at once. Oh, and everything got mixed up and it all fell down, right? Right. They should try building one thing at a time. You mean step by step? Right. Good idea. Wait a minute. I just had an idea. Instead of building the castle all at once... This time we'll take it step by step. That reminds me of a song. Smokey, a little bass, please. When you do construction, it's a big production. So here's my introduction. You just gotta take it step by step. Oh, it can be a hassle when you build a castle. There's so much stuff to wrestle. So just take it step, step by step. step. We smooth the ground and make our moat go all around. Step two. We build our walls nice and strong so they don't fall. Step three. Our tower goes up straight. Ta -da! Ta -da! And it looks great. Now our job is done. We all had lots of fun. Because we took it step by step. Because we took it step by step. Because we took it step by step. You have a knight, a castle, and a dragon, and a napkin man just for you. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. I think I have a plan. I'm going to build my castle step by step. That's an excellent plan, Benny. When you do construction, it's a big production. So here's my introduction. Take it step by step. OK. I'm making a moat. That's step one. Now I'm going to make the walls nice and strong so they don't fall. And as a reward for your fine step-by-step -step castle building, I dub thee Sir Knight Benny. <laughs> The Adventures of Napkin Man. <laughs> Pony Express. Hey, get along, little doggies. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, that's some mighty fine lasso in there, buckaroo. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Well, hey there, little cowgirl. This here roundup could sure use your help. I don't feel like it. If you don't mind my saying so, you seem like you're feeling kind of sad, Suki. I'm sad makes my family move away. Ooh, yes, that's a good reason to feel sad. We all miss Mary. Well, I miss her most of all because she's my best, best friend in the whole wide world. We used to play cowgirls together. She go yippee ki yo, and I go yippee ki yay. -yay. yay. I remember. Well, oh, it's never easy when a friend moves away. Mr. Anthony, I feel achy right here. Oh, kiddo, I know you do. Well, sometimes. You just have to feel sad for a little while, and that's okay. But when you're ready to get back in the saddle, you can do the achy shake. The achy shake? What's that? I'll show you. Achy shake, 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 shake. You try it. Shaky, achy, shaky, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Very good. How's your ache feel now? I think I shake the most of it away, but I still miss Mary. I know you do, Suki. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time that Napkin Man helped a little cowgirl named Betsy who was also sad? No. 
I don't think so. Betsy also had a very best friend named Jane. Just like Mary's my best friend in the whole world. Just like that. There. You ready to call Napkin Man? Yep. Napkin, Napkin Man! Man! Howdy, Suki! Howdy, Mr. Anthony! Yee-haw! Uh, hang on there, partner. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yes. One pair of cowboy boots coming <laughs> right up, buckaroo. Yeehaw! Look at me! I'm the ropinest, ridinest, napkin man cowboy around! Uh, napkin man, you're the only napkin man cowboy around. <laughs> well, by gum, you're right, cowgirl. Let's move them out! Yeehaw! I'm Napkin Man, I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Why, looky here. It's Cowgirl Betsy and Cowgirl Jane. Howdy do, Cowgirls. Howdy, Napkin Man. So what are you two buckaroos up to today? Roping? Riding? We're not doing anything. Nope, we're too sad. Oh, no. Why's that? Jane's daddy got a new job. So our family's moving away today. Oh dear, that's a mighty big change. No wonder you're sad. I have an ache right here. Oh, I know how that feels, partners. But when sadness comes a calling and you've got an ache right here, it's time to do the achy shaky. Like this. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shake away that achy ache. Give it a whirl, girls. Feeling any better? A little. Thanks, Cowboy Napkin Man. My pleasure. And there's still time for one last yippee ki yay yo pony ride together before Jane rides off into the sunset, isn't there? You're right, Napkin Man. <laughs> Why, it's Daisy and Petunia. Howdy, girls. Let's go for a gallop. Want to come to Napkin Man? Sure do. Only I don't have a pony to ride. <laughs> Napkin Man, meet Baloney the Pony. Well, howdy, Baloney. Saddle up and let's ride. <laughs> purple sagebrush, my favorite. I love purple. Yowza! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for the tumbleweed! <laughs> I never want this day to end. I'm sure I'm gonna miss riding with you, Jane. I'm gonna miss doing everything with you, Betsy. Jane! Come on, girl, it's almost time! That's my mom. We better go. I guess this is it. Goodbye, Betsy. Goodbye, Jane. 
See you around, Napkin Man. So long, Jane. There goes the bestest friend a cowgirl could ever have. That's okay, Betsy. You just cry it out. <laughs> I already miss Jane. Sure you do. But even though she's moved away, you can still be friends. Just stay in touch with each other. Stay in touch? How? Even when someone is far, far away, you can still stay in touch any old day. Just listen and I'll tell you the way. Okay. There are lots of ways to stay in touch. You can write a letter, or if that's too much, you can call them up on the telephone, and then you won't feel so alone. It really doesn't matter what you say, just a hi, or I miss you. Or have a great day. Or if your friend is a pony, you could even say, Maybe you have a parcel to send. That's a fun way to stay in touch with a friend. You can send them a drawing or a poem or a letter. And that, my friend, will make you feel much better. That's it. I'm going to send Jane a parcel. Great idea, partner. It can be a friendship box full of all the things she loves. I'll send it to her by Pony Express. Come on! I rustled up all kinds of things that Jane would like. Purple sagebrush. She loves purple. An apple for a petunia. An apple a day makes a pony say, Yay! Now, all we need is one more thing. Perfecto. Thank you, Tumbleweed. Can you send this to my friend Jane by Pony Express, please? Sure thing, Betsy. Whoa, wait a minute. Wouldn't it be awesome if Betsy got a friendship box from Jane, too? You know what, Cowgirl Suki? That would be downright awesome. Oh, hang on a second, Betsy. This just came for you. It's from Jane! Look, purple sagebrush. Just like you sent her. And an apple for Daisy. And one for Baloney, too. Just like they like. And a tumbleweed. Now that's a great cowgirl roping, riding friendship box. Yep, because Jane is the bestest friend ever. Yeah! That's the story of how Napkin Man helped cowgirl Betsy and her best friend Jane to stay in touch. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. I'm going to make a friendship box for Mary, and I'm going to put this drawing in it. Why, that's the bestest idea I've heard, cowgirl Suki. You know what else? Hey, cowboys and cowgirls, let's round up some drawings to send to our friend Mary. And you know what else? We don't have to wait for the Pony Express. I can scan them into my computer and email them to her mom. Hey, how, Mr. Anthony? That way she can get them right away. That's right. Mary! Daddy, it's Suki. Gallop on over here and have a gander at who it is. Mary, I was just missing you. I miss you too, Suki. In fact, there's something I've been wanting to tell you all day. Yippee ki yay yo, cowgirl Suki. Yippee ki yay yay, cowgirl Mary. 